Hello, and welcome to Rackend Digital Rebar Training Lab number 2010. This is a follow-up from Lab 1050, and you should have completed this first. It's going to rely on content and steps that you took from that path. And of course, you've already installed Digital Rebar and are ready to go. In this lab, we're going to be learning how to create a custom UX action button. Uh, and that'll actually show up in the UX once we have created that first button. So let me open this lab and start right up. We're going to go ahead and go to the triggers page and create a lab 2010 uh, trigger that's going to use the event trigger for us to do this matching on. So go ahead from here and create this lab 2010 trigger. That trigger needs to use the event trigger. Excellent. And it should use the blueprint Endpoint system check. Excellent. So that is one of our utility points that will allow us to check the health of the system. And we are going to go ahead and use the self runner for this. And for the events, we need to use UX button and we'll call this lab 2010. The UX button event is a specialized event that the UX listens for uh, to actually trigger these types of actions. So that's excellent. We don't need an object match. Uh, we are going to go ahead and give it um, a color. I'm going to go, I'll go ahead and modify. I wanted an icon too. It's just a little bit too quick here. Uh, working with the lab one. Excellent. And from there, I'm done. I can move to the next step. To make this work, I have to hard refresh my browser. Excellent. You can see I jumped right back to where I was. But now I have a trigger button. One of the things you'll see here is that I installed the dev library. So I have the dev UX button right here. And I also have the button that I just added. So here's lab 2010. And I can go ahead and click that button to make sure it works. I'm going to test it by navigating to the work orders view. You'll see I clicked it once. This blueprint's already been executed. If I come back and test it again, here's another blueprint already going, running, making that thing go. So pretty straightforward from that perspective. If I wanted to test one of my other buttons, uh, you can see I'm doing that. There's the other blueprint that I'm running on my dev test button. In this case, uh, in the previous lab, I'd already added this dev content pack. If you're not seeing the dev UX button, simply going to the catalog here and choosing the dev library and installing that will install and hitting refresh will install that other button. So now we want to go ahead and create a dev version of this button. We're going to go ahead to create the lab uh, 2010 dev option. Once again, doing our event trigger. And this time for the blueprint, we're going to say dev raise uh, alerts. This is a dev library blueprint that we can use just to create phantom alerts. It's very helpful for testing things, just making sure that things are, are working the way you expect. Or if you're trying to build or create alerts, this is a really good blueprint to look at. Once again, we're going to use the local self runner. And from there, we want to go ahead and we need to say UX button lab 2010 dev. If we had called it the same event, that one button would fire both of these triggers. Pick a different color and a different uh, icon. Excellent. Need to hit refresh again to make sure this thing is, is going. Jump ahead a little bit. So now I have the one I created. You'll notice I'm firing it. We're going to go to the alerts table to see what happened. And here, every time I push this button, I'm going to get a different alert. If I acknowledge them, you can see that I'm actually testing these alerts and they are being triggered. And that's it. At this point from this lab, we've been able to extend the UX to create custom operations. I do things like clean up all my clusters or run a check. If I want to just check that everything is healthy, I can go ahead and, and this will run. Uh, here it's telling me that the machine I have is below the disk available threshold, something I definitely want to check in on and be aware of. It's a disposable system for testing. So I'm not going to lose there's a lot of sleep on this, but if you were running a system for any length of time, uh, this type of threshold would be something to be concerned about. And of course, you're going to see them in uh, 
pop up right in the UX even if you're not watching the alerts panel. And so all of these alerts are going to give you uh, some type of information and, and help you evaluate what things are going on. Before I click away from this lab, I do want to give, show you one or two things that are of, of special interest here. Uh, if you come back and you look at the event trigger, we've been adding uh, different labs. Uh, in this case, the uh, Dev UX button here that I just tied in is raising this Dev Trigger test, and the task tells us that it raises the trigger. So one of the things that you can do in, in looking at these systems is you can go back and say exactly what's going to happen. So we do have a lot of information to help you know exactly what things um, are going to happen as part of building these triggers, uh, and that's metadata attached to these systems. So if I want to look over here, I'm going to actually have to look in the API. I can see in my metadata where that information comes from. There's no magic behind that. Okay, so at this point we've completed all of the operations necessary for this very simple add a button into the UX. And anytime you have uh, some action that you find yourself repeating over and over again, uh, maybe debugging or troubleshooting a work order, very easy to go back in and add a button, do that work, and then when you're done, simply clean up and remove uh, the triggers that you don't need in the system.